Today we look at uh, a most, the most potent form of self-defence, I guess, especially for women. It's called Wing Chun. Please welcome the world's leading woman practitioner of Wing Chun, uh, oddly enough an Australian girl, Karen Armstrong and her partner, I wouldn't want to be the partner, Nigel Brenton. Yeah. Welcome, folks. Welcome. Karen, is that the main difference? We've looked at the others and they are, they get into deeper philosophies and meaning of life or their sports. Wing Chun is really just self-defence. Well, Wing Chun certainly has the deeper philosophy and a lot of other aspects involved in it, but basically it is the most simple, practical and effective form of self-defence for anyone, not only for women, for children, for men, for people of any size, strength or age. But it was invented by a woman? It was invented by a woman and therefore it doesn't rely on brute strength for effectiveness. That is why it can be used so well in self-defence by anyone. Has, I mean, is it basically that we're familiar with Bruce Lee and Bruce Lee movies? Basically, it's what he does? Well, what Bruce Lee did in the movies was a lot of fanciful and spectacular stuff for the cameras. In real fighting, you want to do things that are simple, that are very direct, and that are easy to learn and apply. All the fanciful things you see on movies, you, you think about it or any member of the audience think about it, you can't apply them to a real fighting situation. In a real fighting situation, you've got to be fast, You've got to do simple, direct things that don't rely on brute strength. That's where Wing Chun is a very useful style of martial art. What's an Australian woman doing, being the, the best in the world at this? How long have you been doing it? I've been doing it for eight years. I, I guess it's because a lot of women are not interested in doing martial art. And when I found out that Wing Chun is founded by a woman, I thought, oh, great. That means that it's something that women can be really good at or can be equally competent as men are. And I just became fascinated with it because it is a really very interesting, very deep and thoughtful style of martial art. Have you ever been attacked by a man? I have used Wing Chun to deter people. Mm, I bet it deters them. It does. <laughs> have, have a look at Nigel and you'll see why, why you need to be deterred. Why not give us a demonstration then? Just let's All have right, a look at sure. uh, in action, Karen. And good luck, Nigel. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That is. I think Nigel's had enough. What, what do you do for fun, Nigel? <laughs> <laughs> That's for fun. Ra well, I'm sorry you came back because Ray Aldridge was fairly keen to actually get involved. He thought a quick demonstration with Ray. Would you like us no. to go back? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> anything but that. No, anything but that. Now, now, how long, obviously everything you did there was, was as you said earlier, fast and quick, um, right. short and sharp. Right. How long would it take an ordinary person, a non-athletic person to... I would say it would take them about six months to gain proficiency in basic self-defence. Because the Wing Chun movements are simple, they're easy to learn and they're fairly easy to apply. So you don't have to spend years and years trying to learn all these complicated movements. Any average person not being particularly fit or well coordinated could learn to defend themselves in basic situations within about six months using Wing Chun. And how, how many hours a week would that be? Well, we'd say going about two or three times a week. Really? Hmm. So it is a very efficient style to learn. In fact, we've, Wing Chun's very popular, all o not only in Australia, all over the world. Wing Chun is regarded as one of the most popular martial arts for the 80s because of its practicality in self-defence. And now... Part of that, Nigel, we actually let Karen put I that gear on and belt Karen up. <laughs> uh, no, well... Basically, no. But, uh, it, of course, it can be that, in that situation, yeah. Well, Nigel's our new instructor in Sydney, so he'll be doing a lot of... Well, he won't be building people up. In fact, we try to treat our students with a lot of respect because no, they're meant, there to learn. I meant that joking, but of course. But he, he's certainly in a position of teaching literally hundreds and hundreds of people to defend themselves. 
We've got sent, we've got a really big centre in South Australia. Wing Chun's really popular there. In Sydney, we're just opening a new branch out at, near Parramatta because we have so much demand for the genuine Wing Chun art. Because of, in Chinese history, these arts have been taught secretly, there are very few qualified instructors. And our principal instructor, Master Jim Fung, is one of the world's top experts. Yes, I read that. He's been to China. Yes, he's, well, he's China are considering him, appointing him their overseas representative on Kung Fu. And despite the fact that he's Hong Kong born, he is an Australian citizen. And this is a real accolade for Australia. This is a very big step forward for Australia. Australia, through our school, is now regarded as one of the leading martial art places in the world. And the standard of Wing Chun, because of Master Jim, is considered here to be on a par with the highest standards in China or Hong Kong. Yes, well, I mean, you haven't taken offence at anything I've said, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> That's a big relief. All right, the book is uh, Wing Chun Kung Fu, An Effective and Logical Approach to Self-Defence uh, by Karen Armstrong. And, and Jim, Master Jim Ford. And Master Jim Ford. We thank you both very much. Thank, thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray.